Lettuce is very common for most of people who live in the city, everywhere in the world now, because when we live in the city, we don't have many choice in our life. Lettuce will be the main choice for us, and city people we have a lot of problem because we cannot choose what we want to eat much. In our life, we need to eat what the company want us to eat, and we were trained to eat only three tastes: salty, oily, and sweet. That's the main taste that the company want us to eat. Lettuce will be easy for city people to eat because lettuce has bland taste or tasteless. It help to make the taste of the food better. After that, when we eat salad, mainly we just enjoy the taste of dressing. It's not about the taste of lettuce. When we have to eat a lot of lettuce, we need to know how to grow lettuce because it's so simple and easy. Sometimes you can do it yourself. Growing lettuce is very easy. Mostly people start with. Plant the seedling in the tray first, and then when the lettuce grow about four inches, three to four inches, and they can transplant them in the real bed. After that, with this technique, it make lettuce grow pretty good and grow the same size, look similar. But for us to drop the seed in the tray is quite a lot of work for us, so we quite lazy. What we did is we just sow the seed in the bed like this, let them grow, and then we can thin them out, thin them, and we can eat the baby salad at the beginning. If they grow too thick, we thin them and eat them. If they're not too thick, we can still thin them and then transplant them. We want them to be about five inches far apart. That's the side that they can grow well. If we plant them like this, they will grow evenly and grow very well. With this technique, if we pull them up and transplant them again, one thing we need to be careful is if it's too hot, most of the most of them will die. So it's good to look at the the weather. If it's cloudy, or they if they predict that it's going to be cloudy or rain for a few days, that's the best time to transplant them. But if it's very hot, but we want to transplant them at that time, we can put a stick on the, around the bed and put sand to cover it for five days and water every day. After five days, the roots of the lettuce will. Come out, and then we can take the sand or anything that we cover for five days off. The lettuce will go very fast after that. With this technique, it's quite quick and easy for us to grow lettuce. It's very quick. Only forty days you can eat them, but the main thing we need water. Water is very important part of growing lettuce because if not enough water. Lettuce will be grow will grow very slow and start to be bitter, bitter taste, and don't look nice. Look, don't look beautiful. So we don't want it. Lettuce is very easy to grow because there are less pests, less problem. They can grow anywhere easily. How to harvest lettuce? Some people maybe love when it's very young like this. So if we plant them very thick, it's very easy to thin them out like this, and then we can eat them like this. This is a perfect sign. When we cut them, it's just perfect bite, one bite for chewing. So it's easy. But some people maybe love very big and nice one like this, but we need to chop them. It will easier to eat. There are many side that you can harvest lettuce. It depend on how do you want 
to decorate on the on the plate. Some people want tiny one, we call baby lettuce. Some people want the big one, taste will be better. So it depends on how do we want it. But the way to harvest lettuce, there are many ways. When we pull them out, all of them, they will not grow back again. But another technique is we cut them. Cut them very short like this, but not cut the last shoot of it. Keep the shoot there. Cut very thin. Like this. You can see the tip of the shoot still there. And if we cut like this, they will grow back. In the next few days, they will grow back very fast. With this technique, we can harvest them many times. We plant one time, we can harvest more than three times. That's good. So, when we cut them, we got like baby salad like this, and we can eat like this. Or if we want to sell the ready to eat lettuce, this is perfect size, perfect technique to grow because we can harvest many times when we grow only one time. This is what it looked like in the second day after we cut them. They will grow back fast like this. In the next five or six days, we can harvest them again. This is the technique that we can harvest many times. When we grow lettuce, we should not buy seed the second time in our life. We buy seed only the first time. And then when we grow them, we need to eat some of them and leave a few plants for saving seed. When we leave them, they will become a stem, long stem stretch up like this. And when they have stem, mainly the taste will be bitter. Most of people don't like to eat it. So don't eat it if you don't like bitter. And then they will become branches like this with yellow flowers. It's very beautiful, tiny flowers everywhere. They bloom not in the same time. That's one problem of saving lettuce seed because they don't ripe enough in the same time. So when they become flowers not very long, the flower will become seed. The fluffy cotton that we can see, white fluffy thing, that is the seed that's ready to harvest. When we see the white fluffy thing, more than 60 or 70 percent, that is the time to harvest the seed. This is the seed that we can harvest them. It will come off easily. If we wait too long, it will drop on the ground when the wind blow or when it was checked very hard, it will drop on the ground. So we will lose them. There are many techniques to collecting lettuce seeds. What we did, if we don't have a lot, we just use tray to put under the bunch of the flowers of the seed and then we can squeeze them they will drop in the tray with this technique we can pick many times we can harvest more than three times but if we do this technique we need to make sure that our lettuce grow very well have enough food so the second time the third time will be very good seed but if our soil is not very good we can harvest only one time because the second time and the third times the seed will not be very healthy they don't sprout very well so with this technique we need to understand uh, how healthy they are this is the most important part of collecting with this technique after that we're going to blow out all the dust anything that is not seed blow them out or check it like this when we check it like this the light part of it will, will be blown out easily or some people use 
the strainer to strain them. That's another technique that's good for people who work a lot, who make a lot of seed. The strainer will be more convenient. This is the best seed. Perfect. Very healthy. Look very fat. If we cut like this, most of them, more than 99% will sprout well. Another technique is when the seed turn to white fluffy thing like this, more than 70%, just cut all of them and then put on the plastic or big top in the shade and step on it or hit it. The seed will come off easily and when, then we can strain them. The most important thing is don't dry them. If we dry them, it will be very dusty. So we have to separate seed when it's still fresh like this. There are so many varieties of lettuce in the world. In Pan Pan, our place, we have more than 20 varieties. But most of the lettuce seeds, there are two color. The first group is black color like this. And the second group will be white color like this. Each group, both black and white, each group have many varieties. So we cannot tell the, word, the name of the lettuce from looking at the seed. We have to looking from the plant when we grow them. One small bunch of lettuce seed, this size, you can have enough seed to plant for the whole family for many months. Growing lettuce and saving lettuce seed is so easy like this. This is why we should not buy lettuce seed second time in our life. Every time when we plant lettuce, we need to eat them and keep maybe five or six of them at the end of the bed. Let them grow tall and save seed. Then we don't need to buy seeds anymore. Seed will be in our hand forever. We can share, we can give, we can grow. It's always good when we have seed in our hand. To grow lettuce, you don't need a lot of space. You can grow in the pots, grow in the trays, grow in anywhere. And then if you have lawn, you can change your lawn into garden. It will be more beautiful than grass because lettuce has so many colors, so many shapes. It will be beautiful. And then the most important than beauty is is edible, is food. So if we can change our lawn into beautiful garden, we will enjoy more than the beauty of it. Because when we eat the food that we grow with our hand, the taste is so good. And when we grow with no chemical, the taste is totally different from the, the same plant that you grow with chemical. It's totally different. Try it. At least you can try to eat hydroponic lettuce and the lettuce that you grow from the soil. Even is the same varieties, but the taste is totally different. Lettuce is very fun to grow and very beautiful when we look and edible too.